say hello. Well, she did not want to be on camera today. What's up, folks? Welcome to my my crib. <laughs> well, this is my parents' house, but this is literally my second time trying to film this video because I did it the first time. It was so, so bad. Like, I'm talking the makeup was bad. I was just... I was just not in a good headspace and Vogue definitely would have not accepted it. So the reason that I'm at my parents' house is because when I originally filmed this video, I was actually staying here to dog sit my dog. But now I am back home and when I reviewed the footage, I was like, this might be one of the worst videos I've literally ever filmed because I was kind of in a rush that day. Surprise, surprise, like I feel like I'm just like literally always in a rush. Like there is not a day that goes by where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much extra time. You know what I mean? So it's just the way it is. We're gonna do a little Vogue beauty secrets kind of video. It's like this perfect 90s glam. If you guys have not seen these videos, I mean, I'm pretty sure you have, they're pretty popular, but they're really fun to watch. And it's kind of cool to just like feel like you're in a vibe with like, you know, your favorite person out there. All right, so let's do it. These are all my beauty secrets, tips, tricks. I'm gonna show you a few of my like skincare secret vibes. Um, not my full skincare routine, cause I don't know that we would just be here for a really long time. Um, but yeah, let's do this. We're gonna start off with a little easy skincare that I do before makeup. I had already applied my skincare this morning, but right before I do my makeup, I'll usually go in with one extra layer of moisturizer because since I have really dry skin, this helps to just plump up the skin a little bit more. So I love this one, Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. But what I do is I add in, and I've shown this before, but it's the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow Drops. This is the best liquid highlighter to use with your moisturizer because it just gives you this like very effervescent glow that just looks amazing under makeup. The next thing I'm gonna do because my face is looking a little pale today. This is something that I like to do, I would say probably once a week or so. Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self Tanning Foam. What you wanna do is take it on a little brush. This one is It Cosmetics and apply as you would your bronzer or contour. And what this is gonna do is give you that like the sun-kissed look without the damage of the sun and it's gonna stay on even when you don't have makeup on. But the number one thing you have to look for when looking for a product to do this with is it has to be like a no rinse formula because it's gonna sit there and then once you take your makeup off, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm still golden. I'm still glowy. And sometimes I kind of forget and I'll wake up and I'll just be like, you know what? I'm kind of looking good today. Like, <laughs> like you will not believe what a difference this actually makes. So you definitely want that to dry really, really well before you go in with your makeup. So I want my brows to be a little lighter, straighter, and thinner. So I'm mostly gonna fill in this outer portion. And I'm using my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil for this step. Then we're gonna take the Refi Beauty Brow Wax and lift these babies up and then comb it through. I feel like that's a vibe. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in medium and in medium dark. All right, so I'm gonna put medium all over my lid to cancel out discoloration. Then I'm gonna take medium dark and apply this into the crease and out. Almost like I'm using it as the initial blending shade. All right, a little bit of translucent. Then we're gonna take, I should clean it. <laughs> this new little palette from Natasha Denona, it's called the Zendo, so pretty. And I'm gonna start off with this guy up here, which is called Balance. So I'm just dusting that on really high up. Then I'm gonna go in with like our cooler tone. This is called Zeal. And when I'm trying to buff out a shade, I hold it like at the very end of the brush, which I feel like really, really helps to basically be able to take, oh my gosh, these are really painted. <laughs> it basically helps to take the pressure off so that hopefully you can blend out a little easier. And one thing I'll do if I get a little crazy is take some of the translucent powder 
that we use to set and actually use it to like blend everything together on a clean brush. And then I think I'm gonna mix, do a little mixing for the lake color. So I'm gonna take Yama and Scents. And I'm gonna keep this shade kind of low when I first apply. And then use the same brush to blend upwards to really get a nice blend. So this is like the opposite of a cut crease. Like we do not want cut, we want blend. We want blend and blend and blend, Vitamix it out on your eyes. <laughs> This is MAC Costa Riche Eye Coal. This is honestly one of my favorite, favorite, favorite like makeup products of all time. I feel like I would kind of make any eye color pop because it's like a warm chocolatey brown. So you want to start from the edge of your pupil, like right here, and take it out. We're going to run this along. It's going to be messy. Then we're going to take a little smudge brush. This is from Smashbox. And we're going to repeat that about 7 million times. Vitamix it out. Should I coin that? Is that my new thing? Vitamix it out. <laughs> Gel liners. So this is MAC Cosmetics Dip Down on my Sigma Roxette, my collab um, EO6 brush. So I'm just going to take that right at the base of the lashes, exactly where we applied the cold. I'm not making a wing. I'm literally just applying from here to here. So we're gonna add on some mascara. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Sky High, Flash Sensational Sky High. I feel like it literally makes it look like you are wearing falsies. Like, like, I, <laughs> it's actually crazy, but I'm still gonna go in with lashes because you know, I don't know. I'm just, I, that is who I am, but I'm gonna go in with Raquel Beauty Solar Flares. What I do, or what I've been doing lately, because this mascara is so good, I don't really need a full lash. So I actually cut it off and use this part, the inner corner, and place it right on the outside. And it is so good. You have to apply with your eyes open and literally just like lower them down. Lower the lashes down right onto the same part of the eye that we applied that liner. Once you close your eyes, I kind of feel like that's where things get tricky and that's where like the lashes start to go all different sorts of ways. Perfect them, put them in place. Doesn't that look so, so good? Like not to toot my own horn. But. Moving on to this primer, once I secure the blur, then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Tint Moisturizer and a little bit of the Dior Forever foundation. I just really like tinted moisturizers and full coverage foundations mix. I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer. I'm literally gonna keep it like right here, right there, right there, and down the center of the nose. And when you apply it in this shape, it definitely has more of that like brightening and lifting effect. And then we're gonna take this puff paint, a darker blush, it looks so pretty for this like 90s inspired look, but I'm gonna apply it a little higher up. And this was part of the same collection as the Natasha Denona eyeshadow and of course cream contour. Cream contour is a very essential step of any makeup look, but especially when you're going for this more like sculpted 90s vibe. So we're going to dust a little bit of my Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. And I'm literally just going to dust that everywhere to kind of walk in the whole skin look. Then we're going to take a little bit of Studio Fix in NC20 and sweep that under the eyes like in a outwards motion. Again, not dragging it down, but dragging it up and out. And we're gonna use this as like a little matte nose highlight, which is one of my favorite techniques to do to like have a nose contour, but not make it look like you have like a sparkly highlight in the middle. You can use a lighter shade of your foundation powder. I'm gonna finish off the bottom lashes with some more of that Costa Riche eye coal and I'm placing this underneath the outer third of the eye to match what we have going on on the top and then also in the waterline. So I'm applying this in two different places, but you don't want to apply underneath all the way into the inner corner because we want to keep that outer third shape going. And then a little bit of mascara only on the outer third. Okay, vibes, right? We're gonna do e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Pencil on the lips. This is Nude 3. And I'm using the edge to create the no Cupid's bow vibe. 
but this is like the easiest way to do your lips because you literally hold the lip liner flat and just kind of let it go let it do its thing okay i literally feel like just having your lip on changes the entire vibe like we are a 90s supermodel now if i like if i actually had a vogue video i kind of feel like they would call because you know how they always have like a little um a little saying of what it is so it's like you know Hailey bieber's five step guide to california glow or like whatever mine i feel would be like roxette's guide to 90s supermodel dreams <laughs> so we're gonna go in with Pat McGrath Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick. And it's Divine Nude. And right on the middle, I'm gonna go in with Dose of Colors Liquid Matte in Catching Feelings. And just a little, a few little dots of the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is in 001 Pearl. So pretty and a really nice formula. It's like not sticky, it's a little thicker actually, but I really like it. And finally, obviously, Makeup for Firm Fix. I love the eyes. I love the look. It's the perfect little 90s vibra. What do we think? Comment down below. Thank you, Vogue. I love you.